Good morning, everybody. Today is the first day of the trading month, December 3rd, 2018. And let's see if we can get a setup. A couple things um, have changed um, around, as you can see. I don't have any indicators underneath here. I'm constantly changing things up, I'm constantly trying to um, improve on my. Uh, strategy so bear with me as I am still improving it the markets are up huge today spy is up four dollars and sixty two cents on the day um, let's just see where we go from here and check forks factory at 9 30 nope that's not us 945 we have final manufacturing PMI uh, that's in 15 minutes at 10 o'clock we have ISM manufacturing PMI construction spending ISM manufacturing prices um, all day today is uh, total vehicle sales. Uh, so we got a, quite a few things. FOMC 10:30 uh, this morning um, Eastern Time. FOMC member speaking. Uh, just a couple of things, several things that um, I think could impact the uh, uh, the trading day. Getting signals here on Apple. I don't think the markets are going to move a whole lot up until. Uh, we get that uh, ISM manufacturing uh, PMI at 10 o'clock Eastern time in less than 30 minutes. So just sit back, relax. Let's uh, let's just be patient as always. This Apple puts um, made out really, really well today. Really well. You could have bought it at two, um, anywhere between 245 and 250, um, and been selling above three dollars at three dollars. So um, not really my setup. So I'm not too. Um, I'm not too frustrated about that at all. Um, that's okay. Um, gotta wait till um, after 10, 10 o'clock Eastern time, which is 8 o'clock my time. Um, before, you know, after, excuse me, after that report comes out. So, again, continuing to be patient. It's looking like Spy might be setting up here. Uh, it's getting pretty close, getting pretty close. Not ready yet. Um, not gonna do anything. Just gonna wait for my signal here. I am looking at the 279 puts that expire in just two days. What you're seeing here is uh, the five minute chart on SPY on the far right, the middle, the one minute chart, and on the far left, you're seeing the actual chart for the 279 puts, the uh, puts that I'm looking to trade. Still has quite a bit for for it to uh, set up, but it looks like we might be playing puts uh, sometime in the very, very near future. The signal is uh, trying to produce here on the five minute chart on SPY. I'm gonna give it a minute. Alrighty, I went ahead and bought at 170. I sold one. I still am holding on to one. I'm holding on to one right now. I'm going to let it run here. And I went ahead and sold the other one. Here are my trades here. I bought at 170, sold uh, at 190, and then sold at 189. So uh, that's that's good that's good I'm very good with that that's that's awesome that's phenomenal that's over 10% so um, I'm gonna start doing this I'm gonna start doing this guys I'm gonna start somewhat um, scaling out um, that's that seems to be the way to go about it guys um, in hindsight I should have held on to that trade the 279 puts and uh, they're going up now here. I should have waited just a little bit longer, but that's okay. Made my money. Look at that 191 by 193 still. And it got stuck there for, for a bit. Wow, that was an awesome trade. This is one of my best trades I've had in a long time, guys. Um, again, to show you my trade, bought at 170 sold the first one at 190 and then sold the uh, second one at 189 so pretty cool pretty cool guys we are good we are very very good here i'm very happy with this trade very satisfied 
What's going on everybody? It's your boy Giovanni from Spy Options Trading on this beautiful Monday TGIM. I hope everybody had an awesome weekend. Now for today's trade, let's not get too excited. Woo! Woo, 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 woo. Yeah, baby. Yeah. I still have a lot to learn. I have a lot to work on. Um, I'm trying this new thing. Bear with me now. Bear with me. I know this is a new concept for everybody, but I'm trying out this new thing called scaling out. <sighs> all the great traders do it. Why shouldn't I be doing it? You guys know all my subscribers that have been with me for uh, quite some time that most of my plays run and they run big and I want a piece of that. As you saw in today's trading video, I'm looking to scale out. I know I'm only trading one, two contracts. That's fine, whatever. Um, it can I can work on it. Um, I'm going to start, you know, scaling out by getting out anywhere between five and ten percent. That doesn't change, and then leaving the other to see if it has an opportunity to go up higher. Now, in today's trade, had I um, not chickened out, I would actually made quite a bit more. Those uh, put options went up to as high as. Uh, $2.27 I believe so as soon as I sold maybe a minute or two minutes later it started uh, heading heading up north basically but it's a start guys it's a start I'm going to work on this this is me working on my exit strategy something that I've been telling you guys telling myself for uh, months and months and months years actually years so it's me working on it so bear with me also, a couple things changed on my algorithm, or should I say my script, my signals. Um, I think, in my opinion, they're a little bit more accurate, and it's going to give me a good opportunity to basically um, get in on a trend. So bear with me, guys. Uh, again, um, I'm, I'm not letting any of this stuff out. I'm going to work on it first. And then as soon as I get a, a thousand subscribers, um, we can talk more about it. We can talk about my, my trading strategy and all that jazz. And also, I have a defined um, stop loss, too. So I all of this I worked on over the this past week. Um, and let's let's just keep it going. I could have actually traded Apple as well as you saw. I pointed it out. The only thing I don't like, and this is um, just maybe personal, right? Um, but I don't like trading that first five minute candle. Call me stupid. Call me dumb. Whatever. I it just I don't like trading that first five minutes. Um, I've seen it time and time again where it actually you know get a signal in either direction. Doesn't matter. And then it just completely reverses um, back. And, and I don't want, I want to give myself the best uh, opportunity to get in on a good trade. In my opinion, I think that um, trading that first five minute is uh, suicide, but you never know with me. I might change my mind down the road and I have the right to change my mind uh, on the way that I trade. One last thing that I wanted to mention, I don't want to look at my account. I don't want to look how much money I have in my trading account. I'm not showing myself and I'm not showing you guys either. I'm still trading with $500. I'm trading with that mentality that I'm trading with $500. I might have over, you know, $600 now, uh, $550. I don't, I don't know. I, I have no idea how much I have. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care to know. Um, at some point in the future, maybe a couple uh, months down the road, six months, hell, it could be a year. Um, until I actually start looking at my trading account. Of course, that could change temptation, 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 but I'm going to fight it. I don't care to know how much money I currently make. I don't care how much is in my account. I'm going to work on my skills as a day trader, and therefore, maybe you can learn from my mistakes, what I'm doing right, what I'm doing uh, wrong, um, etc etc guys so bear with me hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already click that bell notification so you get notified the moment that um, I upload a video and also if you're thinking about opening up a tastyworks account there's a referral link down below uh, I'll put it in the description so thank you everybody I enjoy reading your comments in fact comment down below what you thought about today's trade um, did I do it right do I do it wrong do you have any opinions uh do you have any advice for me any of that is welcome free game so thank you so much everybody for watching see you again next time